Foods to avoid for children. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Before we get started. Make sure to hit that like button also subscribe to my channel. Foods to avoid for children. So make sure to watch the full video. Child behavior and food are closely linked. Studies show that certain foods can cause or at least worsen behavioral issues like ADHD and other learning disorders. While changing a child's diet might seem like a daunting task at first, many parents end up feeling relieved when they see positive changes in their child's behavior, because it could reduce the need for medication and other treatment options. For this reason, parents whose children have behavioral disorders should consider this list of common food triggers of behavior problems. Dairy and behavioral issues. Food for the Brain reports that dairy is the most common food allergy among children, and for those who have ADHD, hyperactivity and food with dairy products seem to be associated with each other. This means that some children are more active than usual after eating milk, cheese, yogurt, or other dairy-rich foods. Children with dairy intolerance often experience stuffy noses, bloating, and tiredness, but these are just physical symptoms. They may also become irritable, depressed, anxious, and unable to concentrate gluten and hypersensitivity according to AD Detude. Gluten is another food trigger that can lead to bad behavior in children. Gluten is found primarily in wheat, which means most slices of bread, cereals, and crackers contain this common ingredient. Hyperactivity and gluten foods seem to be closely related in children with some sensitivity to these foods. Irritability and aggression are other bad habits that gluten can cause artificial food coloring and hyperactivity. Unwanted behavior and food coloring in children are often linked. According to proof of disease, food coloring is found in most processed foods, including cereals, juices, and candy. Dyes that cause symptoms include yellow 5, yellow 6, blue 1, and red 40 hyperactivity and food coloring have been linked in research. This is probably why synthetic food coloring is banned in some countries like the UK however, most processed foods in the United States still contain synthetic colors. Some foods cause behavior problems, but the good news is that some foods can improve these problems. For example, according to WebMD, the best foods for people with ADHD are protein-rich meats, nuts, and beans. Complex carbohydrates found in fresh fruits and vegetables are also recommended. Omega-3 fatty acids can also help with behavioral problems and can be found in salmon, tuna, walnuts, and olive oil. Incorporating these foods into your diet and eliminating the foods that usually cause misbehavior can make a big difference for many children balance 360 about the Nutrition system based on years of experience working with children struggling with learning disabilities, we are confident that the Balance 360 system helps your child's brain and body function to a healthy standard do. Ask our parents. The Balance 360 system is a step-by-step -step approach designed to help parents create a nutrition plan that fits their child's lifestyle and needs. Learn more about our clean eating plan. Call us today to schedule a quote. You can also view the program's research and results on its website. Disclaimer, the information provided on this website is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. All information is provided for general information purposes only and is not intended to be a substitute for medical advice or treatment for any particular disease. Please discuss this information with your healthcare provider to decide what is right for you and your family. 
A healthy diet is based on balance there is no need to add salt or sugar to your child's food. Some foods and drinks are not safe for babies, and some foods and drinks are not as healthy as others. Universal Soda Can in Pouring Position, Sugar Leaking Children under 24 months should not be given foods or drinks with added sugar. Honey younger than 12 months can cause serious food poisoning called botulism. Do not give honey containing foods, such as honey yogurt, cereal, and honey crackers such as honey crackers, until your child is 12 months old. Any unpasteurized beverage or food, such as juice, milk, yogurt, or cheese, risks infecting your child with harmful bacteria that can cause severe diarrhea. Do not give your child unpasteurized drinks or foods such as juice, milk, yogurt, or cheese. Unpasteurized milk is also called raw milk. Foods with added sugar and low or no calorie sweeteners are not recommended. Products with added sugar may include muffins, flavored yogurt, or cookies. Children under 24 months should avoid added sugar. Check the external nutrition label icon for products without added sugar. Sweetened beverages, such as soda, soft drinks, flavored milk, sports drinks, sweetened water, and juice drinks, contain added sugar. This drink is different from 100% juice children under 24 months should avoid added sugar. Certain canned foods, and processed meats, for example, meat dinners, sausages, hot dogs, ham, and frozen dinners should be avoided. Some baby snacks and store-bought packaged foods are high in sodium. Check the outer badge of the nutrition label to find foods that are low in salt. Avoid fish high in mercury, such as mackerel, marlin, shark, swordfish, tilefish, from Mexico, and big eye. Read our fish and shellfish recommendations before serving catches to family and friends. External icon mercury can be harmful to the brain and nervous system if exposed to too much mercury over time. While limiting mercury in children's diets is important, many types of fish are low in mercury and contain important nutrients that support brain development and the immune system and promote healthy eating. Learn more about which fish species to avoid and which ones to choose to best support your child's brain and nervous system development did you know? A small bowl of honey. Do not give honey to children under the age of 12 as it can cause food poisoning called botulism. Some certain foods and drinks should not be given to children. Watch the video from 1000 days to learn more. Milk before 12 months of age poses a risk of intestinal bleeding in babies. It also contains too much protein and minerals that your child's kidneys cannot easily process and does not contain the proper amount of nutrients your child needs. Juices older than 12 months are not recommended children should not drink fruit or vegetable juices before they are 12 months old. After 12 months, no juice is needed, but no more than 4 ounces of 100% juice per day can be given. Check the nutrition label to make sure it is 100% juice. Juice drinks, fruit drinks, and fruit flavored drinks contain added sugar and should be avoided. Whole fruit is healthier for your baby than fruit juice. Caffeinated beverages such as soft drinks, tea, coffee, and sports drinks should be avoided in children under 2 years of age. There are no safe limits for caffeine intake in young children. Plan your meals, allow healthy snacks, though. Don't make children wait until they're hungry, emphasize that mealtimes are a time to share stories of the day, visit each other, and have a good time spending time together. How are your families? When children complain about the food, it's time to involve them in choosing what to eat for dinner at least one day a week. Have each child prepare dinner once a week. Even small children can make a simple salad by ripping up a lettuce leaf and opening a can of beans. Plan what you can contribute to your child. Talk about the different things you have to do, such as setting the table, cooking dinner, washing the dishes, and feeding the pets. 
Do not bring home unhealthy food of course. Kids won't eat regular food if it's full of snacks or junk food avoid especially sugary foods. Sugar can ruin your body's natural desire for good food offers healthy snacks. It's okay if your kids don't eat as they're full of cheese, carrot sticks, or other healthy snacks who said good food should be eaten with meals. Practice dining etiquette outside of meals, or select one evening per week to practice make it fun. Exaggerate. When the family gets together, everyone participates in planning a fun meal time. Examine your attitude towards weight, food, and eating habits and what they can offer your child. Do you say something like finish everything on your plate and then get upset that your child is overweight? Do you tell your children that they can't eat between meals? This can lead to overeating at mealtime. Are there other ways you are subconsciously trying to regulate your child's food intake? Life skills children can learn children learn not to cause trouble at the table. A dining table is a fun place, and there are many positive ways to become part of the family and attract attention kids can learn that they can develop a taste for food on their schedule. They can understand that they will not be forced to eat anything they do not want and will not receive special services children can learn that respect is a two-way street. Advice for parents Instead of teaching your children to be gluttons to please you or picky eaters to win you over, you can help your children learn to listen to their feelings and body wisdom. Think of how many overweight adults were members of the Clean Plates Club as children and completely lost the meaning of the word hunger. If you view mealtime as a time to feed your children and teach them manners, they are more likely to reciprocate with bad manners. If you think eating is one of the special moments that families share, your kids will too. At different stages of development, your child's body may not match the national ideal, so be patient with your child and yourself. If all else fails, Trust your sense of what is normal for your child regular exercise is encouraged if necessary, turn off the TV and push the children off the couch. We spoke to people who grew up during the Great Depression they say being picky eaters has never been a problem. Often there was not enough food, so parents didn't make a fuss when the child didn't want to eat when the children's unbalanced diet didn't help, they ate what they could eat or were hungry. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to our channel before you go.